Hey guys and welcome to another video. This one is very similar to the bedroom video I made. However, for this one I decided to go for three different sizes and three different styles of living rooms. And you can use this video as a uh, living room ideas I guess because I made them all three different styles and for the first one I went for a more classic look I will not keep that grand piano because it just took up way too much space but I ended up going for different color themes for the different rooms and I think you can guess which um, color themes I chose because they were quite apparent and I did that simply because I rarely use different color themes I kind of have like some set ones and I wanted to experiment with new ones to see if I could learn about other colors that I like together and I did with this video so I'm really happy I achieved that um, but yeah for this video I decided to go for the different sizes as well because for my um, bedroom video for the three teenagers I kind of just made random rooms and they were all approximately the same size and I thought for this one it would be nicer to make three different sizes in case someone is looking for a living room to put in their house and they don't have that much space and so here are some options all the living rooms were square or rectangular so they are easier to put in builds because when I make living rooms in homes they tend to be square or rectangular so I thought that would be the safest option to go with and as you can see through the build here I've just in the beginning I just added windows but I will change them depending on the room and according to the furniture and that is just because I thought that were the ones that matched the best but they will work with any windows I feel like um so that is just something to keep in mind because that is one of the main reasons I rarely use like finished rooms to download and that is simply because of the exterior. Sometimes the living room inside is gorgeous but the only windows or doors that match with that exact room is just way too different to the ones I already have and often I just can't find anything in my style that fits the rest of the home so I end up not using the build if that makes sense. But yeah, this is the first one. As you can see, the theme was a black and yellow. Not like the song. I mean, well, I guess kind of like the song. Um, and yeah, I think it turned out really well. I've never used those colors before, mainly because I think they're too dark. But the yellow really lightened up the black, in my opinion. And um, yeah, moving on, I decided to go for a little more family-friendly. Um, not necessarily like... The other the first one is family friendly as well but i meant more like as a toddler or like small kids because this one is a little bit more colorful and the way the colors i chose are a little bit lighter and the furniture i chose also is more homey or like cozy in my opinion i don't know um but yeah for this one i decided to go for orange and blue and i couldn't stop thinking about um perry the platypus from phineas and ferb because he has those two colors this is theme colors and I can't I, like I couldn't get it off my mind while building this and I actually think they go really well together the two colors they have they're like normally you I normally personally see um, blue and red together a lot but I really like this combo I'm definitely gonna use that more for future like for future builds and bedrooms and stuff because it's really cozy I don't know is it just me I really like it and I'm so happy I did this because I have gotten a whole new set of ideas only based on colors and that is simply because I let myself totally go wild. I had no idea what colors I was going to use in the beginning. I simply found one piece of furniture that I really liked and then I looked through the color options and I found something. For example with this couch it was blue and there were some purple accents, not purple, orange accents and I thought why not see if I can make that work and it's a really fun like way to do it if you are if you feel like you're stuck in a certain style as i have been i feel like i feel like i've often just gone for gray and black and white and when you choose a piece of furniture and go from the colors of that you can really like broaden your horizons or whatever you say uh, when it comes to color choices because often i will not use two 
bold colors because I'm afraid it, it, I won't find anything else that matches with it. And it's a good thing about um, extra like expansion packs because often if there's one piece of furniture and it has a certain color option, often other pieces of furniture from that e expansion pack also has that color option. And a good example is this one. I'm pretty sure that the couch was from the family expansion pack, but I knew that this very, very strong um, blue was also in a lot of the bowling night uh, furniture. So when I looked through this, I decided to go for... Actually, not thinking about it, I'm actually going for exactly the same colors as the one before, but these ones are just like really saturated. Oh, well, I guess not new colors then, but this one is a lot more wild in my opinion. Uh, the colors are very strong and... I think they would fit very well for a young couple or a single sim who just moved out and wants somewhere colorful to live. And actually, while building this exact living room, I couldn't stop thinking about, I think it's the Jang family from one of the apartments in City Living. They have like this really colorful, kind of bohemian apartment and I couldn't stop thinking about that while building this because this one was just so colorful as well but we are nearing the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed if there's anything you want to see leave it in the comments down below and all the living rooms are up for download in the sims 4 gallery just use my hashtag and that was it for this time thank you guys i hope to see you in the next video and bye